enforcement officers in, uh, as well uh, during this incident in Sheridan Circle in Washington, D.C., located directly across from the ambassador's residence. Nine protesters in Sherman Circle were injured during this vicious attack. As I've said before, I condemn this attack it was an affront to our values as Washingtonians and as Americans, and it was a clear assault on the First Amendment. As Americans, the First Amendment grants us the right to assemble and protest peacefully. And here in D.C., we are committed to safeguarding and protecting that right. Uh, MPD, the Metropolitan Police Department, has been working alongside our federal partners to ensure that justice is served. I want to thank the United United States Secret Service, the U.S. State Department, uh, as well as the U.S. Attorney for the District of Columbia. Because of their cooperation with the lead investigative agency, our police, uh, and with the help of state-of-the-art technology, law enforcement has identified several suspects by comparing screen captures from video footage to visas to passport images. And uh, there have have been, as you know, uh, two arrests made on the day of the incident. There were two arrests made related to this incident uh, yesterday, uh, and the chief will talk about the warrants that are in place now and the people who are wanted uh, related to this incident. I just want to be perfectly clear uh, that we take our, our, our position in the United States as the nation's capital very seriously. We host demonstrations uh, month and uh, month to month. We host over millions of people who come to the seat of their government uh, to protest peacefully. Uh, we support them. We make sure that they are safe. Uh, but we also make sure that they follow our laws. And certainly, anyone uh, traveling to the United States will be held to that same standard. We will defend the First Amendment, and we will make sure that our laws are being enforced. So I want to thank the Metropolitan Police Departments for undergoing a uh, professional investigation where they relied on their human intelligence but also technology uh, to make sure that justice is served. I want to now turn to Peter Newsham, who is the chief of the Metropolitan Police Department. Okay, thank you, Mayor. On May 16, 2017, the Turkish President and Turkish, Turkish Foreign Minister attended official meetings in Washington, D.C. Turkish security and diplomatic personnel accompanied the Turkish, Turkish President and Foreign Minister during their trip. During the official Turkish visit on May 16 at approximately 4 in the afternoon, Turkish security personnel and others assaulted protesters in the area of Sheridan Circle Northwest. This is in the vicinity of the Turkish ambassador's residence. Video foot footage captured the assault and the police response. Nine protesters were injured in the attack. Two people were arrested at that time. Using video of the incident, law enforcement has been able to identify the majority of the suspects who were involved in the assault. On Tuesday, June 13th, MPD was able to obtain arrest warrants for 16 people we believe to be involved in the assaults. Two were U.S. citizens, two were Canadian citizens, and the remainder were Turkish citizens. Pursuant to those arrest warrants yesterday, Two of the suspects were arrested by members of the United States Marshals Service. Arrested in Virginia was Sinan Nareen of Virginia, charged with felony aggravated assault and misdemeanor assault or threatened assault in a menacing manner. Mr. Nareen waived extradition and will be presented in court today. The second individual arrested yesterday is Eup Yulderum of New Jersey, charged with felony assault with significant bodily injury, felony aggravated assault, and misdemeanor assault or threatened assault in a menacing manner. Arrest warrants have been issued for the arrests of the followers Turkish, Turkish security officers. Torgut Akar, 
Ismael Dalkaran, Servet Ekkan, Tugai Ekkan, Ahmet Karabe, Farid Kiasan, Lutfu Kutluja, Marat Mustafa Sumarjan, and Gukan Yeldaram. These individuals have arrest warrants for assault or threatening assault in a menacing manner. Warrants have been issued for the arrest of the following Turkish police officers. Ismail Ergunduz, whose, charge, whose, whose uh, arrest warrant is for assault with significant bodily injury and simple assault. Mehmet Sarman, whose arrest warrant is for aggravated assault and simple assault. And Hama Uteri, whose charge, uh, arrest warrant is for aggravated assault an assault or threatened assault in a menacing manner. Warrants have also been issued for the arrest of the two following Canadian citizens, Mahmoud Sami Elialta. The arrest warrant is for aggravated assault and assault with significant bodily injury. And Ahmet Jangasan Deragi, whose arrest warrant is for assault with significant bodily injury and assault or threatened assault in a menacing manner. Any additional actions regarding execution of the, these warrants will weigh, be weighed by the State Department as appropriate under relevant laws and regulations. There are some suspects who remain unidentified at this time. MPD will release a video of photographs and we will ask for the public's assistance in helping to identify the remaining individuals responsible for the assaults. In the United States, and particularly in the District of Columbia, we hold our ability to peacefully protest as a sacred right. When these events unfolded in early May, we said we would do everything we possibly could to hold those responsible accountable for their actions. We are hopeful that those responsible will do their part and present themselves to answer to these charges. I want to thank the U.S. Marshal Service, the U.S. Secret Service, uh, the United States Attorney's Office, and the United States State Department for offering their unwavering assistance in get, bringing these warrants uh, to the U.S. Attorney's Office for prosecution. I'd also like to thank my two detectives that worked feverishly on um, bringing these uh, warrants to the U.S. Attorney's Office, Detective Kyle Kimball, and Detective Victor de Peralta. Thank you. We can take any questions that you may have. Anybody have any questions? Ma'am? Um, do you have any indication as to why the Canadian citizens came down to see Erdogan? We do not. <laughs> Sir? You made uh, several references to the State Department. Can we assume that, that this action is a State Department action, or is this an MPD action that you sought permission from the State Department? We worked cooperatively with the State Department. Uh, they were very cooperative in assisting the Metropolitan Police Department in bringing these charges, and particularly in helping us to identify uh, the folks that were responsible. Okay, they cooperated, but is this a State Department action? This, this, the warrants were presented by members of the Metropolitan Police Department, so it's, a, it's an MPD uh, local investigation. Go ahead, sir. Uh, thank you, ma'am, with the Armenian TV. Those uh, border guards, security details, they are in Turkey. Or uh, What kind of measures will be taken to bring them to justice in the United States or in any other? Yeah, that's a great question. And the State Department is going to try and work that out. What I would say, and I think that all of you have seen some of the things that have been said publicly about why uh, the assaults occurred. Uh, I would say to the folks that were involved, if you are a uh, law-abiding person uh, and you feel like you uh, did not do anything wrong, then please present yourself here to answer to these charges. We'd like to hear uh, what you have to say. If you are not law-abiding person, then what? Well, we'll have to, that remains to be seen. That remains to be seen. Go ahead, sir. Can you assume that these individuals will be arrested if they attempt to enter the United States? They will be. And, and That's not an assumption. If they attempt to enter, enter the United States, they will be arrested. Uh, another question. Uh, 
person do these kind of attacks more than international management for them? But the U.S. allies, uh, if you ask them, would they or Interpol? I think that's not a question that I can answer. I can tell you uh, that here in the United States, and particularly in the District of Columbia, uh, this is the type of offense uh, that is extreme in nature. Uh, when you have folks that are peacefully protesting here in Washington, D.C., which is a place where we welcome peaceful protest, uh, and they're attacked for no reason, uh, we think it's extremely important. Go ahead, and I'll come over to you. Jai on this um, the Wall Street Journal. I wanted to ask both of you if you would like to see these people extradited, if you'd like to pursue extradition on these Turkish uh, I think that they need to come and they need to answer for what they're responsible for. I, I'm a firm believer uh, that people have personal responsibility. And like I said, if they think uh, that they didn't do anything wrong or their uh, actions were justified, and I, I certainly do not feel that way myself, but they should bring themselves here to the United States to answer these charges. Ma'am, did you want to say something? Ma'am. Elizabeth Children from the Army Weekly. Uh, there is video that shows that President Erdogan was watching me and even ordered the actual attacks. Is there any effort now by the Metropolitan Police Department or other law enforcement to bring him to justice? Yeah, we don't have uh, any information right now to suggest that we have probable cause to make an arrest of the President. Go ahead, sir. Of the Canadians, um, how will you try to, to get them here? Are you coordinating with Toronto and Canadians? We, we, yeah, we will. We will take our normal steps that we need to, to get an international suspect back into the country. But I think the, the most uh, effective way is for them to present themselves. Some people in Toronto are wondering if another Toronto resident who was seen on the video starting a protest might be arrested. Is this the end of the arrest, or are you going to continue to investigate? No, no. We have images that we're going to release today of some additional folks that we would like to know who they are uh, and in all likelihood we'll be pursuing charges against those folks. Go ahead, Peter. Peter from the Washington Post. Has any effort been made to ask the Turkish president to have his people um, surrender to the U.S.? Not that I am aware of. What are your expectations for any of the realistic likelihood that any of them will ever be um, I think that's uh, that's a tough thing to predict. I would be speculating if I was to answer that. Thank you. I'll, I'll come back there next, Tom. Go ahead. We have done a Turkish news, uh, news portal, Washington uh, My question is, uh, in course of this investigation, have you been coordinating with Turkish embassy? How would you rate their coordination or cooperation with you? Uh, you know, I, um, we have not had to because we've had the full cooperation of the State Department. Uh, and they do, the, they do the communication with the embassy folks. I can tell you that, that none of the embassy folks were implicated in this event. Did you look into Turkish embassy's role within the U.S.? How, how did they play? How was their role uh, during the role and fight? I can, I can just have to repeat what I just said, is that none of the folks from the Turkish embassy were implicated in this event. Chief, Go ahead. Given that these uh, men may not ever come back to the United States, is this as much a public declaration by you and the mayor that you're not going to tolerate this type of stuff, whether you arrest these people and charge them and bring them to justice at all? This is a larger message to the world about how you behave in this. I, well, it certainly is a message to, to people in the world about how you behave in the District of Columbia. And we, we expect people uh, to come here and to peacefully protest and be law-abiding when they do so. Uh, I would like to be an optimist and, and hope uh, that the people that were responsible for these things that we all saw on video uh, will come here uh, and turn themselves in and, and make themselves uh, take personal responsibility uh, for what happened. I'll come over there next. Um, I'll ask a little technical question. Were there enough security officers at the place before the fight to get out of the control to, to secure the area? I think I, I have to say from watching the video, I thought that the police did the best that they could under the circumstances. We did have a significant number of law enforcement officers there. One of the difficult things uh, for that particular incident was that it, it happened so quickly. Uh, the police got involved, it, and it was, it was very much unexpected. 
uh, at the time. Uh, so that, that created challenges for law enforcement. I thought law enforcement did a great job of getting the situation under control quickly. Uh, their first priority in an incident like that is to make sure that the injured receive medical attention. Uh, it would be inappropriate in a scenario like that just to arrest everybody all at once. I think this was a better way to approach it is to gather the evidence. We did have video of the incident uh, and bring the charges, have them be reviewed by the U.S. Attorney's Office and a judge here in the District of Columbia and then proceed with charges that way. Also, um, the PKK is a terrorist group designated by the United States and those people were pro-PKK protesters. So, and Are you saying they were protesters? They were pro-PKK protesters. They were oh, okay. And it, and it was so close to the, to the place where the president of Turkey entered the residence. So don't you think that there is a security gap that those people are so close to the president where he entered the, the area? And then yeah, I would say uh, in Washington, D.C., uh, we do not uh, care particularly what your views are, what you support or what you do not support. Uh, our role in this government, our role as a police department, is to make sure that you can do so uh, safely, especially if you're here peacefully demonstrating. It doesn't make any difference what, what you're demonstrating about. I'm, I'm sorry? There, there is no indication right now that the protesters were a terrorist group. Sir? Chief, this question both for you and the mayor. It is not widely off topic because it involves the security dignitaries. Obviously, in the wake of shooting the baseball field in Alexandria. But it is off topic. I, I believe so, man. Okay. <laughs> off topic questions. We're glad to address right after this, but my topic question is only at this point. Thank you. Okay. okay, thank you. So we will we will get with you after this. Chief, Go ahead, Sam. I've had uh, situations that I've seen where you had countries where the president comes and two groups and they get the fighting, the DC police have to get involved. What is it, unprecedented just because of the security forces, or what, what's different about this? What you, I, I'm not sure what you're asking. I've seen the president, I think, of Guinea or some country where they, they had groups of that liked them and didn't hear DC and they started fighting. We have. Um, had to get involved. I mean, what's different about this one? It, well, the, this, I mean, we all saw the violence that was perpetrated against peaceful demonstrators here in Washington, D.C., and it's just something we're not going to tolerate. Uh, we have dignitaries that are in and out of this city on a daily basis. Rarely have I seen in my almost 28 years of policing the type of thing that I saw uh, in Sheridan Circle on that particular day. Because of the officials of the country, is that the idea? I, I, I don't, you know, I, their motive, what, whatever they were doing, uh, is really not important. I think what's important is the fact that uh, you had peaceful demonstrators that were physically assaulted in the District of Columbia. And the message to folks who are going to come to our city, either from another state, or from another country, is that's not going to be tolerated in Washington, D.C. Go ahead. Do any one of these individuals have the benefit of diplomatic immunity? And if they do, what's the process moving forward? Yeah, the, the, all of the immunity questions I will leave to the State Department, but I will say that the uh, warrants that we have obtained are legally sufficient, and they can be executed uh, on the individuals, and we have some pictures up here uh, so you can see exactly who these folks are. Go ahead. Chief, I'd like to the Kurdish Service was America. Uh, do you have uh, cooperation with the State Department about the uh, consequence of the process, how it affects on the relation between America and Turkey? Yeah, that's, uh, I can tell you from the very beginning, uh, we have had complete cooperation from the State Department. Uh, those questions uh, that you are asking regarding uh, the relationship between the United States and Turkey are not within my area of expertise. Go ahead. Um, there was a Turkish man being attacked and heavily wounded by one uh, of the, these peaceful protesters there. Uh, um, is there any legal process underway against that uh, attack? 
I think that question is the types of questions that get into a little bit into the evidence. Uh, I'm reluctant to go into any evidentiary questions in public. Uh, those are the types of issues that I think that can be, you can look at the court documents when the folks are presented. Uh, like I said, someone will be presented today. Those documents will become public. And then the rest of it will become public when these cases are proceed through the criminal justice system. Okay, last two here. We're constantly evaluating a ways to better protect anybody in our city, particularly our dignitaries that come to visit. So we will certainly take a look and see if something could have been done better for sure. Okay, thank you. Last, last question. Or, or be, uh, have your own story out on I see 16 or, or 12 of these Turkish. I'll, I'll go over that one more time real quick. So we had two arrests on the day of the incident. Uh, we have two U.S. citizens who were arrested yesterday morning. We have two Canadian citizens and 12 Turkish citizens. So the total number is 18. Uh, we currently